What was positive out of this week, Courtney, was that we did see people start selling what they loved, right? So Apple, mm -hmm. Microsoft, I mean, all these sort of big cap tech names that were that were touted as being relative defensive plays um, in this kind of market were also being sold, and maybe that was a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're getting pretty close to a bottom here. I don't know if this is the bottom itself. Um, I think just kind of anecdotally, we usually get a few clients who actually panic out. I haven't seen that yet. People are getting impatient, but I don't think they're quite panicking yet. Um, but I do show, really want to look at over the long run here. I'm not really of the mindset that we have an, an, a recession right in the near future here. I think the economy is still in a good standpoint. Profits still look really well. Corporate and personal uh, balance sheets are still looking really strong. So is today the up from here? I hope so. I, I honestly, I think we might have a little bit of ups and downs from here, but I think we're getting close. It does sound like you are more comfortable with where the markets are valued right here. Yeah, and again, I think you need to kind of choose wisely here. What you are seeing is a lot of your tech companies are really rebounding here after such a large sell-off they've had. But the macro environment hasn't changed where we are going to be in a rising rate environment. And hopefully we are going to see that peak here soon, which I think is a lot of the consensus that maybe inflation isn't quite as high going forward, but it's still going to likely be a lot higher than it has recently. And so I think you just want to make sure that some of your um, higher risk, higher duration assets may still continue to underperform. So I think you really want to look at those companies that have solid cash on their balance sheets. They are going to do well in, in a rising rate environment and they have that ability to increase their prices going forward. So um, just making sure you're not just picking the things that have been hit the hardest, like your tech firms. They, we are still in a changing environment. So just make sure you're, you're choosing wisely there. Yeah, I think a lot of these are getting sold, I think more so than are justified. I think a lot of the concern right now, too, is that the consumer is not going to be able to spend as much as inflation's kicking in. Uh, but now we're seeing things like Bank of America card data came out, for example, and it's showing that people are continuing to spend on discretionary items. And that's things where some of your retailers like um, Shopify can actually benefit from that. And that's happening as inflation's kicking in. And that's happening across your different income levels, both your lower income and your higher income are continuing to spend as wages go up. And I think people are overly worried that that's going to stop. And I'm just not seeing that in the data right now. But I think you, you can take advantage of the fact that people are overly worried and prices are lower than they should be. Energy space, Schlumberger, you know, if you're heading down to the waterline or offshore drilling, these are the guys to own. Courtney. It's like in the airlines, I'd go Delta here. Their revenue is expected to be at 97% at 2019 levels. We're still trading 30% lower. I think that's a buy.